Zabola, one of the largest villages in Kovasna County, is situated at the feet of the Haramsek Mountains, in the area formerly known as Orbiasek. This historical village follows a U-shaped curve along Zabola Stream, 12 kilometers from Kezdivasharhe, 8 kilometers from Kovasna, and 20 kilometers from the center of the county, Shepshi St. Jurge. The surrounding mountains are covered with extensive forests, offering home to a huge variety of wildlife. Administratively, Seke Petu Fava, Surche, and Seke Tomash Fava also belong to Zapala. Petu Fava is situated on the banks of the Haroi stream, Tomash Fava is by the Zapala stream, and Surche is located along the Fekete Uj. Between Zabala and Tamashfava lies the 567-meter-high hill, the Tatar Halom. This is a mountain which has been declared a reservation and got its name from a glorious historical event. The Tatars were cruelly devastating this region of Transylvania in 1658. The local people from Zabala and its surrounding area gathered on this mountain and stopped the Tatar attack, heroically forcing the enemy to retreat and saving the region from devastation. The other historical value of the mountain is that it has witnessed the thousand years of Hungarian history in this region. Researchers from the Seklo National Museum from Szepsi St. George explored the area archaeologically and found a graveyard from the period of the first Hungarian settlers. The 192 opened graves revealed a range of interesting objects which offered information about Zabala and the entirety of Transylvania. proving an important number of Hungarians lived in this region back in the 11th century. The earliest written document about Zabala is from 1466. According to tradition, its name comes from Zab Oloya, the oil of rye, or from the fortress near the village which was built as a prison for robbers. The village played an important role in the life of the secular community and the national meeting of 1466 was held here. The history of Zabala is closely connected to the history of the Mikesh family, the members of which were talented politicians and soldiers. This is also the birthplace of Duke Miko Imre, the Sechenj of Transylvania, and Duke Mikesh Kelemen, who was captain in Admiral Bem's army during the Independence War of 1848 and 49 before dying in the ambush of Nodzeven. Zabala has a well-developed infrastructure due to its fortunate position at the intersection of two main transportation routes which meet in the center of the village. It can also be reached by train on the railway connecting Shepsi St. George and Bedetsk. The majority of the population is of the Hungarian nationality and about half of the population of Zabala, which has 5,000 residents in total, lives in Zabala. Since ancient times, people in this region have made their living from agriculture, livestock, and timber, though today many of the younger generations find work in neighboring towns. The life of the village offers a peaceful atmosphere regardless of religion or nationality. 800 people of the 5,000 locals are Romanian. Most of them live at Pava, which is part of Zabola. These individuals provide the patronage of the Orthodox Church, which is complemented by Catholic and Reformed churches who split the rest of the population. The Calvinist Reformed Church is a good example of the late Gothic style in Transylvania, supposedly built from the stones of an ancient fortress.
The wall surrounding the church was probably also built in the 15th century, and then in the 18th, the wall was surrounded by a moat. The southern and western entrances of the sanctuary are decorated in Renaissance style with square-shaped carved sandstone door frames, which are considered the most beautiful in harem's sake. The church had been seriously damaged several times during its history by earthquakes, the latest in 1977. During restorations, workers found some details from the 15th century, a small rustic Gothic sanctuary holder, and a carved stone door to the vestry from the late period on the northern wall of the sanctuary. A special peculiarity of the interior are pillars in the shape of men's heads, which are traditionally called Tatar heads. The ceiling is decorated by 124 tiles. These are made of wood and represent the most Hungarian version of the floral Renaissance style. Some similar wooden tiles can be found on the organ balcony. The square in front of the church has a statue of Miko Imre from 1991 and was made by sculptor Petrovic Istvan. Behind the Calvinist church, there's a Calvinist worship house, not far from which lies the Roman Catholic Church. The Roman Catholic Church was built in 1860 in honor of the Holy Crucifix. Until then, the Catholics used the chapel near Mikesh Castle, which was pulled down in 1850. The church was built by Mikesh Benedek using stones from the older chapel. The parish house was also donated by the Mikesh Dukes and was rebuilt between 1984 and 1990. The small Orthodox wooden church was built in 1832 and holds interesting icons. Due to the constant growth of the Romanian population, another Orthodox church was built between 1839 and 1842 opposite the entrance of Mikesh Park. Probably the most well-known sites in Zavala are the Mikesh Castle and Park. The Mikesh Park is set in 14 hectares and holds an arboretum planted by Duke Mikesh Armin, who had new and foreign species brought in from abroad. Today there are almost 170 different types of plants in the park. The monument castle of the Mikesh family was already here at the beginning of the 17th century. During the centuries, it has been rebuilt many times. Among its owners are Mikesh Paul, Mikesh Kelemen's father. Rakotsi Ferenc, the writer of Letters from Turkey, probably spent his childhood here. In 1867, the building was transformed into the Swiss style by Mikesh Benedek, and today we can see this form of the castle. This castle hosted the famous wedding of Apor Lazar and Imech Yudit, which was attended by the reigning Prince of Transylvania, Bethlen Gabor, and the entire noble company of Transylvanian High Society. 
The famous statesman Miko Imre, scientist and writer, was also born in this castle. He founded the Transylvanian Museum Society and was one of the founders of the Seike Miko College. Miko Imre was the president of the Secular National Meeting of 1848, which took place in Adyajfava on the 16th and 17th of October. On the 100th anniversary of his birth, there was a grand festive ceremony. The Seike Miklo College placed a memorial plaque on the wall of the castle on this occasion. Today, the castle is the property of the Mikesh family again and functions as a hostel with the Swiss villa, which was built next to the castle. Another interesting spot of the settlement is the Chongo Ethnographic Museum and the Seckler Region House. Visitors can see local folk traditions, elements of local housing culture, Seckler and Romanian folk costumes, and pottery. The Region House was founded by Dr. Pojoin Ferenc in 1974, and in its backyard granary, a general exhibition entitled Traditional Folk Art of Hungarian Changos opened in September 2003, managed by the Krisa Janos Ethnographic Society. In the center of the building, a large number of photos and maps are displayed which show the structure of the Chango settlements and their traditional building style. On the ground floor, there are some interiors of houses from Gorzafalva, Lespade, and Pustina. And the famous fine pottery from Gorzafalva, original equipment from pottery workshops, and other working devices. In the upper gallery, visitors can see everyday objects from Gimesh and pieces of clothes from the villages. The historical archives of Zabala show that throughout the years, the village has had an active social, political, cultural, and educational life. In 1585, the town founded a Calvinist evangelical school, which functioned over several centuries. The nationalization and reorganization of education in 1873 led to the closure of religious schools. And today the village has 13 educational units through secondary, which are only available in Zabala and Tamashvalva. An organic part of the local education is teaching traditions to younger generations as a means of preservation. The Gunj Haramat folk dance group is one of the brilliant symbols of this ideal. The group performs different sake dances at several festivals, one of which is Zabala Days. Zabala Days is an annually organized festival, a set of events and colorful program offered over two days.
popular picnic place in the neighborhood of Zabala is Chipkish, which also hosts a student's camp. Children are accommodated in cozy little wooden cottages. The surroundings are perfectly suitable for organizing nature trips, but it's worth coming here just to relax amongst the natural beauties. Zabala's surroundings offer many different opportunities to visitors. At a distance of 30 kilometers, one can find angling spots, skiing, and hiking. The huge woodland and its rich wildlife favor sport hunters. A hiking tour of only three hours takes one up 540 meters to Lakota Peak, which is the highest spot in Kavasna County, and from whence the view is absolutely astonishing. Pava Village is a smaller settlement which has become the southern part of Zabala. During the administrative reform of the county in 1968, the village was declared part of Zabala. The name of the village is supposed to have originated from the many peacocks in this area, Pava meaning peacock. During the era of Transylvanian Principality, this village was famous for its hawk breeding. In 1635, there were 17 hawk breeding families registered, the most famous being the Marti and Gal families. The hawk breeders did not have to pay taxes and did not have to serve in the army, but they had to send trained hunting hawks to the prince. The legendary cliff that stands above the village, named Shoyomko or Shomko, refers to the late home of the hawks, Shoyom meaning hawk. The inhabitants of Pava are reformed and their church was built to its current form in 1902. It was originally built in the 14th century and the ruin of the old church walls stand near the tower. In the northeastern wall of the sanctuary, one can find the grave of the Marti family, with a peacock, a flail, and a sword on the coat of arms. The stone pulpit was made in 1763 and the organ was made by Kolonij Istvan. The church also hosted a school beginning in 1768 and lasted until educational reform in 1874. Today, local children are educated in an elementary school. Tamashvalva lies to the west of the main village. It got its name from its founder, the Tamashvalvi family. Tomasz Gierge and Tomasz Djurj fought heroically against the Turks as part of Zygismund's army in 1425. For this, they received nobility and land on which they established the village of Tomaszfalva. For 179 years, Tomaszfalva was the home of the Tomaszfalvi family. After the death of all successors, the land was owned by the Turi and then the Bonyoi family. The Turi family castle is a monument which was transformed into a culture center in the 1970s. Most of Tamashvalva's inhabitants are members of the Reformed Church. They primarily earn their living from agriculture and animal breeding because the land by the stream of the Fekete Uj is of very high quality. In the village, there is a school with both elementary and secondary levels.
A village in the neighborhood of Tomashfalba, Surche, supposedly existed as far back as the era of St. Ishvan, but its first written mention is from 1567. Its name comes from a nobleman called Surche, whose family owned and lived in the village for several centuries. One of the family's most important representatives is Ferenc, who fought together with Seke Mozes in the Battle of Brasho in 1603. The inhabitants of Surche are Hungarians of Calvinist religion. The Reformed Church was established here in 1663. Its old wooden church was pulled down and a new one was built in its place in 1840. Local people mainly earn their living from agriculture and animal breeding. The land has good quality soil, especially suitable for growing potatoes in vast quantities. Due to the natural features surrounding the village, angling tourism is increasingly popular. The Fekete Uj stream, which can be found on the border of Surche, provides water for artificial fishing lakes formed by the locals. This spot is very popular with anglers as well as with families who like to have picnics by the lake. Every year in the autumn they stock the lakes with fish including pike, bass, tuffy minnow, bluegill, and red eye. Seke Petufalva is situated north of Serce and also belongs to Zabola. It's an old Hungarian settlement which is proved by the excavation of the popular graveyard in the southern part of the village. The objects found here are from the 12th and 13th century, similar to the ones of the age of Arpathas. Petufalva was the only serf village of Hotomsek. Its people were serfs of the Mikesh family and were freed in 1848. There is no written document verifying the existence of a medieval church in the middle of the village, but until 1711 the vestry of the present church served as a worship place for Roman Catholic parishes of this small village. Later, the villagers built the present church in respect of St. Francis of Assisi. The altar picture about St. Francis was made in 1762. In 1823, there were some major renovations and a tower was added. In the same year, the organ balcony was finished and an organ from Kolonic Istvan's workshop, supposedly made by the craftsman himself just before his death in 1891, was installed. There are two bells in the tower. The bigger was made in respect to the patron saint of the church and the smaller in respect to the Holy Mother. Children are educated in an elementary school. Petufalva is famous for its mineral water, which has been known for its medical effects for centuries. The bubbling bath, which can be found at the edge of the village, was already popular with tourists back in the 1800s. It was visited by local people with rheumatism as well, because according to the wise, this water was a wonder cure for all kinds of rheumatic disease. The bath existed only in the memory of the locals for many years, but in 2008, the community decided to revive it with the help of the local government and the assistance of sister settlements, business people, and experts. Today the bath functions again with two oak-framed pools, one of which is 4 by 4 meters in size and the other, especially for kids, measures 2 by 3. The bath is enriched with elements of Swedish and Finnish bath culture. There's a sauna with wood heating suitable for 8 to 10 people and a changing room too. On the wall of the building we can read detailed information about the medical effects of the water and visitors are offered a description of the history of the village. During the inauguration of the new bath, there was great festivity, and a feast ended with a huge bath. The 
The architectural and natural beauties of Zabala are of endless value, and its history gives reason for its local people to be proud.